Hello and welcome to this lesson on measuring temperature. Now, what we're going to do today is basically do two things. Basically know how to read a temperature scale, a thermometer, and how to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Now, why do we need to worry about that? Is because there are some countries that use a different temperature scale to us in South Africa. In South Africa, we use what's known as the Celsius scale. In countries like America and Britain, they use what's known as the Fahrenheit scale. Now, what I've given to you over there is simply the different readings that will be um, acceptable in both scales. So, for example, in South Africa, what we know as freezing point is, is uh, zero degrees uh, Celsius. What we know as boiling point, you know, is where water becomes steam. It is 100 degrees Celsius. For us, uh, a good room temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Now, if we convert those into Fahrenheit, you'll find that the following happens. 32 degrees Fahrenheit will be freezing point, 212 degrees Fahrenheit will be boiling point, and 98 degrees Fahrenheit will be the room temperature. Now, to be able to convert to Fahrenheit from the Celsius, we're gonna use this volume uh, equation. Degrees Fahrenheit is equal to nine over five times by degrees Celsius plus 32. Now, to be able to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, all we're going to do is we're going to say, take the degree Celsius and we're going to substitute over there and then put it into the equation to work out our degrees Fahrenheit. All right. Now, example. Convert 10 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. All right. Obviously, we're going to use the formula. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change the degree Celsius of here to 10. So you can say 9 over 5 times by 10 plus 32. Now, if you put that on a calculator, you'll find that this turns out to be an answer of 50 degrees Fahrenheit. All right. Now, let's have a look at some applications. Can you read the room temperature of 25 degrees Celsius on a warm day? Is this correct? Now, 25 degrees Celsius we know is a good temperature. All right. It is fairly warm, which means this would be an acceptable reading. But let's say I give you the same situation where I say it is now degrees Fahrenheit instead of degrees Celsius on a warm day. Now that's when this will now say, right, we know that 32 degrees Fahrenheit, what we learned just now, is actually freezing point, which means 25 degrees Fahrenheit is actually freezing. It's actually below freezing points, which means that this would actually be an unacceptable reading because it is actually freezing. Right, now, what you're going to do today is basically look at these five questions. Right, number one, read the following thermometers. All right, here you're just going to read this thermometer and read what it is. All right, so you just need to read what, it, uh, what the, the reading says. All right, number two and three, you're given a situation like what we just did now with Tanya and with uh, Abel in that you need to just see if it reads correctly, all right? So if it reads 25 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, 200 degrees, 205 degrees Fahrenheit and 25 degrees Celsius, if they are correct. Then number four and five are going to be where we're going to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit and then from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Now remember, this one's easy because you've already got an idea, you just have to substitute, all right? For number five, you're going to substitute for Fahrenheit and then solve for your degree Celsius. So now you're going to basically work out, uh, solve a simple equation to be able to do number five. 